Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here back with another 100% achievement guide and this time we are getting it all the hilarious Turnip Boy Commits Tax Evasion, it's a great name. This was developed by Snoozy Kazoo, published by Graffiti Games and is usually available for £12.49 but you can get it right now on Xbox Game Pass. So, quick few notes before we begin, at the time of this recording there are two achievements that are bugged and will not unlock on the Xbox. That's for hitting a nuke and destroying question mark, question mark, question mark. But they do unlock on the PC, however. So if you are playing this pre-patch while the devs get a uh, current fix on the problem, it's best to play this on PC if you want the full 1K straight away. But if you're happy to wait for a patch on the Xbox, the two final achievements you can get done after you finish the game anyway. So no need to get... Need, uh, no need to go back through the game or anything. Of course, if you're watching this after the patch, then just ignore everything I just said. It'll unlock fine, and you'll play this one awesome game. So, uh, so that's that bit done. Right, quick overview. Turnip we are. No pay tax, we don't. Onion Mayor kicks us out. We go quest. We beat game. Um, achievements, they're mainly for finding and ripping up deeds and papers, etc. So, quite a few collectibles. Bunch of story-based ones and job done. So with all that being said, we should get this done in around an hour and a half, so let us begin. And another big important happy thing that we're going to do is go into the options first, go into game, and as you can see at the very bottom we've got player strength and god mode, which we can put player strength to three, uh, well times three, and then god mode on. That is what we're going to be doing for the majority of the game. Of course, uh, again, Great shout by the devs here for those that just want to sm either smash through or just enjoy the game at the le at, at, at the people's leisure. I really enjoy it when a dev, dev does that. But when we begin anyway, we're going to rip up this first deed. That is going to get us our first achievement straight away. Um, so, yeah, it's so... <laughs> I mean, what can I say? We're going to smash A to go through the dialogue. We, the, 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 un the mayor is an onion and we are a turnip, so incredible. Right, so, let's have a look at the buttons then. So, it, you press A to sort of trip and slightly go faster, if you want to call it slightly going faster. Um, you press the X button to get up your inventory, but we're not going to uh, talk about that yet. We're just going to grab this watering can, uh, which will come in handy for the basically the majority of the game. Go ahead and talk to this blueberry here on the right. Uh, it's a, uh, blueberries don't have names, so we're going to call him Blue. That's fantastic, isn't it? Now, to use items in this game, what we have to do is actually press the B button. So, the flower just to the right of um, the blueberry there, if you press the B button on this flower, not the A button, um, that will grow this flower and then we can collect it. So, he, he wants to get it on with a strawberry, which I never thought I'd say in a video game, to be honest. Blueberry and a strawberry getting it on. The strawberry is just down here to the left. Press the A button to talk to Strawberry, and you will automatically give the flower. So, no need to go in, into your inventory. So, when you have things that are in your inventory, you can just, um, as we rip up this letter again, you can't actually take it with you. You've just got to rip it up. But that'll be for the second achievement called Heartless. But when we've got small items to give to people, you can just talk to them straight away, and it'll automatically give it to them instead of going into your inventory. Go back here and speak to the Blueberry. And get the sun hat, that'll get us our first achievement, and our first out of nine hats that we need to collect throughout the game as well. So, that's basically a sort of a um, bit of the tutorial, so I'm just going to go up to from from where the blueberry was, uh, blueberry was, into the weapon woods. Again, we've got god mode on, so, you know, we can get bummed by a snail as much as we want. Again, that's something I never thought I'd say in a video game, or ever. Uh, but, well, <laughs> I suppose here we are. Um, yeah, so, oh, we can just crack on for now, keep going to the right for the time being. <laughs> yeah, couple of things all sort of happening at once there, that one little side quest. But we're going to go up, and we're going to grab this poster that is on a tree. That's another achievement for us. A one dollar reward for Turnip Boy. Well, I, I don't know if this is a dig at um, either Americans who have to do that whole weird tax thing at the end of every year, or whenever the hell it is, or it's a dig at Jimmy Carr. Well, I'm not sure. Not sure if they're calling Jimmy Carr a turnip boy here, but anyway, <clears throat> when we've got that, we can go down and sort of head up. Ignore the right, we're not going to go to the right for now. Uh, there's only one guy there, and we don't need to get him until later, so we're just going to head all the way up. And ooh, it gets scurrily dark, but it's actually not bad. What we're going to do is get our water um, watering can out. Now, also, you can just press, instead of pressing the X button and then the A button to equip it, you can literally just press the right bumper and left bumper to go into, uh, sort of quick scroll through your inventory. Uh, obviously, it just makes things a lot quicker. So, 
As you can see there, press the B button on it, on the flower to get the sword, and that is done. And then, of course, you just need to use the B, uh, press the B button to use said sword. Uh, and again, remember, right right bumper, left bumper to quickly scroll through your inventory. You'll see it change on uh, Jimmy Carr's back. We'll just call him Jimmy for now instead of Turnip Boy, because I'm sure it's a dig at uh, Jimmy Carr, but still, anyway. So we're going back to the left. Now what we're going to do is do another little side quest here. So we're going to speak to L. Bloobenberry. The old bald and blueberry. And, <laughs> bro, Jerry the Snail has been crashing at our place. And that is just no good. So, what we're going to do is press the B button, kill him, collect his money. You how, you holding out on us, Jerry? That was my red money, you son of a... Anyway, so as it turns out, Jerry was holding out on us. So, go ahead and talk to Blueberry Boy. And he will... Well, he'll be fuming first, but now he gives us $1.25. <laughs> Sorry, you dead. <laughs> ah, that's funny. And we rip it up for another achievement instead of taking it with us and giving Onion Mayor his one dollar or whatever, whatever it is that we've uh, done anyway. But still. So when we go down here, we can just go back all the way down into Veggieville. Of course, Veggieville is the sort of main sort of hub area of the game, if you wish. And what we're going to do now is just go to the very left. You see like this other turnip there just chilling, but press the B button on these flowers or bits of grass. So somebody's uh, somebody's getting some weed growing right there in front of us. So we're going to slice it down and here we are at Layer Lane. This is another area we're going to be coming back to quite a few times in the game for various reasons. So get used to that. Um, you can speak to Edgar the carrot who is apparently a hairdresser, but there's no need to do that. So head up, but before going all the way up to the next area, go to the left, get rid of this bit of weed grass, interact with the bin to find a receipt, and we can rip that one up for another achievement. So that is what the majority of the achievements, like I said, are in this game. Finding deeds, finding other pieces of paper, and ripping them up. So we've done that, now we can go ahead and go up into the next area. And uh, it's all fun, we just need to talk to, not this beat, but the one just by the house. Or the barn, sorry. And he is going to give us another piece of paper, documents, so we can just, uh, you know, piss him off as well, apparently, and rip that up. <laughs> Job done. Now from here, go up, and you can see a trophy all the way to the right, which is very nice of the devs. Make everyone feel like a winner. As it says, reward the player so they stay engaged. See, you know, EA, you, you want to take uh, you want to take note of that, pals, honestly. Right, so when we got those two achievements done, now we can head into the barn. And we're going to speak to, well, <laughs> well this is funny because uh, this is just Twitch all over this one. Um, Slay Queen, who somehow, I don't know how she's streaming, she doesn't appear to have a hot tub and a bikini on, weirdly. But anyway, we're going to speak to her for a minute. And then what we can do is just head back out. And then go, <laughs> go all the way back down. Because apparently that's how you get um, good on Twitch, isn't it? You'd be crap at games, but you can just, uh, uh, if I whap out my cleavage, I wonder if that'll work. <laughs> well, time will tell. We're going to speak to Belch, who is this sort of shopkeeper kind of weird guy right here. And he gives us a tier 3 sub, and that actually looks like a pretty banging sub sandwich, to be honest. So once he gives us that, we can head back up. And we can head back into the barn. Because uh, Slay Queen's not going to let us pass without a sub. Here is your sub sandwich. Not a problem. Oh, right. Oh, your autograph. Wow, thanks so much. Uh, well, we're just going to rip that up. Um, <laughs> so again, these you can't actually take. You can read them, but you can't actually take them with you. So as, as you'll have to rip it up anyway. That'll get us another achievement for Simp, which just rings out so many truths. Although, I tell you what, I wish someone would Simp for me and give me £5,000 on a bloody Twitch stream. But still, anyway, speak to Belch again. Here on the left, and he gives us uh, this doing taxes, pro. We're just going to rip that up. We don't need to do taxes. Jimmy does not do taxes. I mean, he might do now, but not at this current point in time. So we're heading back up, and we are going back through the barn. And this time, since we've uh, sorted out um, Slay Queen with a new bikini and hot tub, we can now just go straight up. Not that I'm sorry, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that. People are richer than me, so... It's just jealousy. Right, what we need to do now, get your watering can out and then press it twice on this bomb right here. Now, what that will do is obviously will explode the, the uh, door next to us. Not many two not, not too many times you have to do that. 
but uh, there will be a few. Right, kill these enemies in here, of course. Always make sure you got your sword out. Again, by pressing right bumper or left bumper on the inventory to make your life a lot easier. And then we can just head up. See, flying through the game we are. Now we can grab this boom boots. Now, remember what we just done with the bomb? So instead of watering the bomb twice for it to explode, we can water it once and then we can just automatically walk into it and that'll kick the bomb in a certain way, blowing up things that are far away. So head up to the north into Mayor Onion's office and on the table to the right top, top right hand corner there is a book how to do your taxes man this is a very taxed <laughs> this is very taxable isn't it it's like it's like being in the UK all over again you get taxed for farting to be honest so when we're out of there we've ripped up the book we can go right now into a new area and this is where we can do the first sort of boom boom thing boom bloom so get your watering can back out Water this bomb once, and as you can see, there's uh, four arrows around it, so it normally tells you which direction you want to shoot it. So we're going down first. That's just to open up the way. This is just the first area that we came in. Uh, so what we can do, as just shown you, that is the first area that we came in. So now water it again once, and then um, automatically walk into it to go to the right. Again, remember if you water it twice, it'll just explode there. So we only need ever need to water it once. Impressive stuff. Do the same, water the bomb once, throw it over, kaboom, kablamo, whoa, excuse me again there Marge. And grab the key before <laughs> heading out to the left. And now we can head down into the starting area, but there is a locked door to the right that we were obviously unable to access before, so now let us get our turnip head through there. Right, next thing to do, water this bomb once again with the B button and automatically go down, kick that down. That reveals another bomb, and of course you know what to do, water it once, and then put that snuff, that snuff, that stuff to the right. <laughs> snuff, well that's for another story. Eh, that's for another day. Right, let us head through the doorway, now we've got a weird pig. Um, of course we've got god mode on, so remember to equip your sword. Always worth equipping your sword first before going into rooms, just in case of new enemies and things. Now these chickens... They don't actually try to attack you, but they do still hurt you. Again, if you're not playing with God Mode on or anything. So just kill them, uh, just, uh, you know, so they all did. Right, little puzzle we're going to do now. So, get your watering can back out. Water the bomb and kick it to the right. That's going to open up this other bomb. And we're going to kick that one <laughs> down. And then we're going to kick this bomb to the left. And then this final bomb we can kick all the way up. Skablam! It's like we bowling, except, you know, you don't start beating your family members up because you lost, because you're a sore loser. Definitely not me, of course. Just uh, having a quick, cheeky Jimmy Carr turnip dance right here. Okay, right, okay, we're all danced out now. So, uh, kill the sword. This is actually the point where I forgot, where, oh yeah, I can actually just press the right bumper to go left and right into my inventory. Right, there is a boss coming up, the King Pig. So... Obviously, what will be nice to do, get your sword out. Um, I'm not going to go into too much details about tactics and everything, but this King Pig, basically all we have to do is just avoid, if you want to, just avoid his moves until he gets stunned and then press the B button on him a couple of times to get kill him. Um, of course, if you wanted to as well, you can see there's four bombs about as well, so obviously if you wanted to... You could water a bomb and kick it into the pig when he gets stunned to kick off his health a little bit more as well. And that's fine. Now, every time we kill a boss as well, you get these little heart fruits in the middle. So what we need to do is water this heart fruit, pick it up. And again, there are nine of these that we need to collect for another achievement. So make sure that we're grabbing these heart fruits on the way instead of just running straight past them. So that should be your first one out of nine. My god, it's all go. Go, go, Turnip Rangers. And into the left here, we found the fertilizer. Wonder why Mayor Onion wants this. Well, we can already see where this is going, I assume. Onions are bad. Onions are bad for you, uh, whether they're in-game or they're on your plate. Okay, so. Right, nothing else in this little area. So now what we can do is actually just head, start heading basically the way back down. But, every time we've, we do this, we end up... Going ahead and speaking to someone and doing a little side quest. And this is no different. So we're going to speak to Hard Hat Beat right here. Um, he needs wood. <laughs> well, I got plenty of that in the morning. Um, but apparently I don't think beats do. So 
Right, we'll have to sort him out. So what we need to do is actually go all the way to Layer Lane, which of course is uh, left of Veggieville, and um, get his word and come all the way back. So yeah, so let's just go down here then when we come back to this area. Yeah, speak to Cuck Queen, sorry, Slay Queen. I thought it was Cuck Queen for a second. Talk to Slay Queen again, and she's going to get us another hat, which is the crown. Now we are Slay King, which... Imagine how many simps. If somebody was called the king from whoever was whoever they were watching... Oh, God. <laughs> I think they would have an absolute jizz attack, I reckon. Um, <laughs> well, all the power to them. Anyway, we're just going to head straight back down. I thought there was something we needed to talk to up there, but there's not. So here we are then, back at Layer Lane. So what we need to do here, we can now go left. There was a construction worker blocking the left exit here before. And what we're going to do is just go ahead and speak to the Blueberry in Shades, which kind of looks pretty badass, to be honest. I'll, I'll give him that. Um, so he gives us the wood what we need. Now, there is another puzzle just underneath it, which we need to do for another heart fruit. Um, but I end up just going back, giving him the wood, and coming back and just doing this puzzle. Uh, so uh, I actually missed that puzzle. <laughs> so, I forgot about that one, so sorry. But again, it doesn't make a difference because we've got to come back through this way anyway. So we can just head all the way back up, up past Cut Queen 32. Uh, Slay Queen, damn it. And obviously we can just keep heading all the way to the right until we find Blueberry Head once again. He give We give him wood, he gives us a hat. I don't know how that sounded. It sounded a lot, <laughs> a lot funnier in my head. Stop giving Beats wood. You can go to prison for that. So there we go, that is the hard <laughs> wood, hard hat, <laughs> the jokes just write themselves, don't they? Um, <laughs> safety first, if you want wood, you've got to get yourself a hard hat. If you want hard wood, you've got to get yourself a soft hat. <laughs> that makes no sense. Right, so now we are finally done with this area, we will have no need to come back to this area now. So we can just keep heading all the way left, all the way down, and um, basically back to the... Little area that we were in. So back to Leah Lane, past Cut Queen. I don't think we have to bother with uh, her anymore either. Enjoy your new hot tub, hun. No problem. I just paid you five grand for that. Uh, wish I wish someone would give me five grand for a hot tub. I'd wear a bikini for that. So anyway, back into the left where Cool Blueberry Dealer was. Little puzzle that we have to figure out. So go to the right of this bomb, water it, and kick it to the left. I mean, if you can. There we go. And then from here, what we need to do is go on sort of to the top of the bomb, kick it down. Skabloom! And we can... Oh, there's also a carrot here, which will come uh, in handy just later on. Kick that to the left. Kick this boom bloom up. Oh, d damn it! Stop watering the carrot. He's hard enough. Uh, long enough, sorry. And then with this last bomb, kick it over to the right. Uh, well, as long as you try not to water it twice. Again, if you're not on God mode, um, just being around bombs and that will hurt you. So, again, just be careful of that if that's what you're doing. But we now get our next piece, our second piece of heart fruit. Which, of course, what these heart fruits do is actually give you an extra um, bit of HP in the top left-hand corner there. I uh, forgot to mention that one earlier on. Sorry about that. But for now, we can just head back to Leia Lane. And we can now give Mayor Onion Head his shizmagiz, mate. <laughs> So with the fertilizer got, now we need to grab something else. Now we can go southeast, which is basically down right, right here. Now this rocky ramp is basically a little bit pointless. I mean, we we just have to come through here a lot through the game. It's a very linear path. You, there is literally only one path. That dog will only get out of the way when the game is done. So obviously we won't have to bother here. Now we're into the plain plains. So a couple of enemies, of course, attack wormy. These little beetroot heads. We'll just um, get in the way for now. Uh, but there is another achievement that we're going to grab. So uh, you don't actually have to speak to one of the carrots here. But there is a receipt over to the left. Just between the fence and the barn. Which we're going to grab. So you can actually, contrary to belief, you can actually just sneak through the um, bushes here and the fence. So grab that. Grab the receipt. Oh, I somebody's on the carrot seeds. So, is somebody chopping up some carrot seeds? Yeah, yeah, well, well, well. 
Right, but now we're going to speak to the carrot anyway in front of the barn after we get the savvy shopper achievement. So now we need to get a stool, and the way to do that is uh, go around and sort of to the left of the barn. You don't have to speak to these two, but have a look in the bin for the lost carrot baby, who is, well, that is one of the uh, ugliest, drooliest babies I've ever seen. Delicious. Looks more delicious in a stew than it does as a baby. I'm, so, I'm just joking. Babies are nice and... It's a fish not sort of swimming off land for some reason. Anyway, what we're going to do is head all the way up, back up. Uh, we basically need to go back to the, the Weapon Woods area. So, head through Bloody Rocky Ramp again. Now, the first couple of times you go through here, you're like, oh, it's quite charming. A couple of blueberries and that. But then after about the 10th or 12th time, you just want to blow Rocky Ramp up. But when we get back to Veggieville, keep heading all the way up. We're going to go back into the Weapons of the Woodses. Now, you might have missed it earlier on, uh, but it is basically where we got our second achievement, the first poster on a tree. So, uh, we're just going to go past the snails, past the happy blueberry, who's now got his rent, so he's happy with that. As soon as you get here, head up, and as you can see on the right, there is the carrot, so just automatically speak with the carrot. And, for, for some reason, we now get the stool, and he just gets his baby carrot back. How the baby carrot ended up in the bin all the way out there, I want to know. Why couldn't we have just literally... We've got a sword. We could have literally just taken one of the carrot's legs off, run with the stool. He's not going to say anything, is he? What a turnip, bro. Whatever the case, we've got the stool. So now we can go all the way back down to the plain plains. So, of course, from Veggieville, just go down, go past Rocky Road. And again, remember, it is on the left-hand side. Right, oh, so just interact with the sort of broken stairs in front of the. Uh, just press the A button there to uh, interact with the stairs. That'll automatically place the stool down. And now we can go into the next sort of big level area, the Forsaken Farmhouse. Now get your sword ready because there's a couple of new enemies that we need to grab a couple of lollipops and a donut that shoots sprinkles at you. Okay, so the lollipops looks like they're on some kind of uh, sweet drug. And the donuts, you cheeky git. Decides to start smashing the um, uh, sprinkles at you, which is not nice. It's not nice. That's why we eat donuts, because they'll kill us. Anyway, grab the face mask anyway. Um, you can pop that on if you want, but of course, God mode, we have no reason to. Go into the next room on the right, and then what we can do is just interact, um, get your water can out, and explode the door on the right hand side. So get rid of the wood and go inside. <laughs> That's how you get rid of wood. Right, little puzzle that we've got to do here. Now, this little square bit, basically, is a big watermelon thing. So, for some reason, it only seemed to work when I done the water can, sort of, from above, for whatever particular reason. So, when the watermelon is grown, it is a watermelon, contrary to belief, get the bomb, kick it into it, and that will explode this. Then we can get this bomb, kick it up, and we can grab the plaster. Or the... Or, it's a plaster, it's not a bandage. It's a plaster, but still, in the game, is a bandage, so that's what we're going to call it. Um, so, yeah. So, there's bombs, watermelons, and later on, we'll have to mess around with portals as well. But for now, we're heading up. And again, there is this weird grabber thing. Now, if you want to, of course, what we're going to do is just kill him straight away. But if you want to, he doesn't hurt you, I don't think, when he's grabbing you. Only when he's when you're inside him, basically. So you can just stay by this chair that I'm at now and kill him dead if you want to do that. Interact with the watermelon there just by the door. Interact with this bomb and kick it up. That will explode open the door and gives us a new area to nip into, the iced freezer part. So remember in Tomb Raider where we used to lock the uh, butler in the freezer? Well, oh, great times. Uh, this is the same thing, but Deb is a fridge rather than a butler with a cowboy hat and stars on it. So... What Deb, the fridge, is going to do is give us a key. That's very good. And then what we're going to do is just interact with this board here on the left. Just tells you a couple of things what we need to do. We uh, just talk to Nurse Berry. We need to find another lost baby cherry. Um, but for now, 
Well, I suppose we'll just crack on with those things. So what we can do is head back out into the kitchen area. Now, enemies will always respawn, so just be very aware of that. Every time you go out and then back into a new area, enemies and the sort of puzzles will respawn, as you can see. So just keep that one in mind. But head down to the right-hand side corner, uh, open up the door and grab this medicine. They child-proof the cap. Well, comes in handy, so you don't have a, you know, frothing rabies child at your hands. And that's the point in childproof locks. Anyway, head back to the left, I assume, into the idled ice box. And now what we can do is just head straight left. Um, there's no one to speak to here. There's Carly, by the way, with the one with the key. We just have to find her baby. The one with the big uh, floppy wieners on top. Uh, this guy I do speak to, but he just he's just one of those emo teams that can't cook noodles. Bruh. 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 Anyway, when we head up, this is where Nurse Berry is. <laughs> so, um, I'll go that. Okay, you need. I need. I need some healing right now. Anyway, there's a baby on the floor on the snow for some reason. Anyway, we're gonna head back down. <laughs> we can go to the right and go to the right again. She's basically given us a key. Um, oh, god damn it, you big grabby piece of crap. And now we can head through the other door that was previously inaccessible. Sorry, I'm still thinking of when she wants to heal me because I'm hurt. Darling, I'm hurt right now. Right, kill all the enemies in this room. They got plasters stuck to them. What the hell kind of lollipops are these? And then what we can do is just head into the right room. Of course, of course. And we can now grab the move mittens. Now we can actually water the... Watermelon, big square watermelon thing, so we can actually move them. Again, you can just push them, you don't have to do anything, so start off. There we go. So he's going to be stuck, so what we can do is actually just kill this guy now. You know, try not to walk into him, just kill him, there we go. So every time that we get one watermelon up, we can literally just push it. We automatically move into it to push it. It's job done. Nice, good good stuff handy. Oh, damn it, I keep forgetting about these uh, enemies that respawn. So, kill, L, kill, L, kill, L, kill, L, plan. Oh, god damn, grab it, butt bag. Right, let's head down anyway. You don't need to go back into the idle box for now. We can now uh, carry on going down, actually. We couldn't before, of course. So, what we can do, get your watering can out, use it on this watermelon uh, flower, and then we can actually push it down over the gap. Now you can't. You couldn't have uh, fallen down these gaps before. You couldn't have just got past them. So now that watermelon's in the gap, um, use it on the bomb and kick it down. That will finally open the door for us to go south, 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 south. Nah, 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 nah. Right, couple of grabbers in here. One with a cherry tomato head as well. Oh wait, it's the lost cherry baby. So, your mama's looking for you, man. Let's go. Uh, apparently, uh, Jimmy's turned Jamaican for just a second. But before leaving, have a look at this document on the table as well. To Matthew Rigby. Oh, fuming. Not anymore, because we've just ripped that up. We've got the Draft Dodger achievement. Lovely. So, make sure you got that. And, of course, picking up the Lost Cherry Baby before moving on. We can head back up. We can go to the left. Oh, no, we go... We Sorry. No, we're going straight back up. Ignore me. Sorry. Went one room too early there. <laughs> so, back all the way back up to the kitchen again. Grab a douchebag, he's going to be here with his big fat chunky eyes. Head back into the left. Past old Deb bag, the big fridge bag. And then just automatically speak to Carly here. No, not the fire. Thanks, thank the mushrooms. The mushrooms didn't have anything to do with this. What the hell? Anyway, we've now gotten... It's not her mother, sorry, it was her sister. So, well, that gives us a key. That enables us now to move on. So, uh, so go past big dead bag, the fridge bag. Oh, God, God big head, man. Head down. And now what we can actually do is go into the right-hand side door here. Which was obviously locked before, so let's head in there. Oh, excuse me. Right, before moving on to the right, which is another boss area... Uh, grab this telegram from the bed, rip this boy up. Now, I should mention, if you do actually end up missing anything, you can just come back to these areas later on anyway. So, don't panic if you do miss one, that's fine. Right, with this one then, we are now on to the big cat. So, this cat only has two moves. It'll basically spin at you and stuff, and job done. Now, what you're supposed to do then, 
is uh, grab a couple of these watermelons that are placed around. You can actually fill the gaps in if you wanted to. Or if you grow a watermelon, he, he also sends worms out at you. If you grab a watermelon, you can hide behind it. The cat will destroy it, but it will be stunned for a bit as well. So again, just a couple of things if you wanted to do that. Um, again, if not, we can just wait until apparently the opportune time where he stands right in our perfect way. And we can just kill him a couple of times. Um, so you can do that. Just wait until he sort of bounces to you. Or, again, chuck a watermelon down. And then you can actually just go into the middle and slice him and dice him. New to that, boy. No more no more banging cats for you. Because every female cat always sounds like they're in pain. Why? What do you do? So, what we need to do then. Apparently, we can't actually just, you know, snoop our way through the gaps right here. Which is hardly... Uh, it, it, it's quite annoying. Um, <laughs> so please ignore my uh, silliness and my quite moronicness right there. Um, so we have to move a watermelon down into the gap. Make sure to get the heart fruit, of course. There should be a third one. So make sure that we're grabbing that. And then we can grab the next thing, which is the uh, cat. Make sure to get the lost cat apple. Again, this is all handy for another achievement later on. But what we should need to do now is go up into this room. Uh, we're going to interact with the generator, but first we're going to grab the spray paint, which is on the left-hand side there. That is for the graffiti guy in the weapon woods. So make sure to grab that, then interact with the generator. Job Jen. Now every time you beat the boss, all the enemies that were in the previous areas have disappeared. So, pfft, up your guts, pals. We're all done. So what we're going to do then is head all the way to the left, into the ice box and speak to Deb the big fridge bag again. So that gets us the fork that the mayor wants, but before heading to the right, we're going to head to the up. And we're going to speak to the pickle gang in a jar. So this is another side quest that we need for a hat. Kind of looks like the pickle Yakuza, just because of the cool mustache. Please don't kill me, Yakuza. It's not It's not a joke, I swear. Right, so, uh, interact with the pickle gang. The pickle gang, pickle gang. They need a hammer. So what we have to do is actually go all the way back to layer, the, the layer woods part area. Sorry, I've forgotten what it's called. Um, layers. Lever layers? Anyway. Um, and basically grab a hammer, and then we have to come all the way back. So it can be a bit of a pain in the ass trek, but such is life. Trust me, we've done worse for achievements, haven't we? And you'd be lying if you said you haven't. So heading out of here now, back into the Plain Plains, we can just head all the way back up to Veggieville. See? Have you been impressed? I haven't called it Vaggieville yet. Oh, d damn it! Oh yeah, sorry, Layer Lane it's called, of course, very, very easy. So head up and then to the left here. And then remember the carrot that we saw at the bottom of this screen earlier, that is who we're going to speak to next. And he's going to be like, yo bro, you got the stuff? Oh yeah, I got the, the 50 cents for you. Man, carrot, you need a wash dog. But he does give us the hammer anyway, so well, uh, I suppose we need a wash as well. Old Jimmy Turnip Head. Right, so, now that we've got the hammer, we can now go all the way back down. So, from Veggieville, all the way southeast, through the rocky roads, into the plain layers. Plain, whatever it is, go all the way back into the Forsaken Farm. And find the pickle gang in a jar once more. <laughs> Thank you. 
then, here we are now. Right, speaking of the Pickle Gang in a jar, they're all good. That gets us another hat. Remember, we have to collect these nine hats as well as the nine heart fruits. So speak to Pickle Gang one more time. So you have to actually speak to him in order to get the next fruit heart. So once we've spoken to him, we got the fedora, we speak to him one more time. We're going to head out of the room and then we're going to go back into the room. And get your watering can ready because... Very nicely enough, they leave us a little heart fruit for us. So, slice this one up. Ah, that's nice. Right. Now, remember, while we're in this area, remember to have grabbed the spray paint from the generator room after the um, last cat boss. As long as you've got the spray paint, we can just crack on. Um, so, from here, we're just going to head down, and then we're going to head all the way back to Vegeville and go basically straight up all the way back into the weapon woods again so this is where it does start getting kind of back and forth back and forthy which um you know this game's still enjoyable so you don't mind it as much but still i've had enough of going through these rocky roads there's only one good rocky road and that's the chocolatey yum yum Back into the weapon woods we go, killing snails as we go, making them, I mean the French will make them into a soup, and then we can just eat blueberries too. So when we're into this second area, go to the right, past these snails, and then we're going to go into the right area that we haven't, or we didn't need to go in first. And there's only one reason for this, is because this is one guy right here, the graffiti guy. So speak to him when you have the spray paint and he gives us another heart fruit. Very easy, very nice. But there's literally, literally no other reason to come back here. Chitin masks? Oh, oh, is that, is that a... Is that supposed to say shitin masks? Because some people don't like wearing masks in shops and stuff. Oh, God, everyone had a big barmy about masks and stuff when COVID was about, didn't they? But I'm not arguing, you argue amongst yourselves with that one, okay? <laughs> okay. So when we get back to Veggieville, we got one more thing left to do before speaking to Mayor Onionhead. And what we can do is head down past the old lemon, past Mayor Onion, and into this little garden on the bottom left hand corner, you can see a couple of cats. The top one is who we need to speak to. Uh, not the apple cat. Not the apple cat, but the Cran Cran. Oh, my mushrooms, man. It is me. Oh, God. Man, she looked... <laughs> I know what kind of mushroom she's been having, bruh. Right, anyway, you can now rip up this uh, little poster she drew for us. Thanks very much, but I think that's the mushrooms that done that, wasn't it? We destroyed a waifu. I can hear many hearts breaking right now. You don't destroy my waifu! Anyway, once we've spoken to uh, Mayor Onion again, he is requiring us to get a third item. So now we can head back down, go past the rocky road and into the plain plains bit again. So this is going to be the longest level in the game. So go left and as you can see the IRS dudes or the whatever the hell they were have now gone. So now we can go to the left. This is the longest area in the game. And it also introduces portals to the game as well. So if you like portal, well, well, you'll enjoy this one anyway. Uh, so we don't have to speak to these old crebly snail things. Uh, but we are going to be grabbing another achievement. There's a new enemy in this area as well, the bunny. They're very slow. They sort of just hop towards you. Nothing too special about them. Just something else for us to slice and dice and chuck in the stew. So we've got a stew snail. A snail stew, I mean, and a rabbit stew so far. Delicious. Right. So we've got a, a path that splits. What we're going to do, we're going to head up first uh, for an achievement. Going left just continues the story. So we're going to go up and we can grab this phone that was dropped. Stupid blueberry. We changed the password to, ha ha, your mum's my mum. What the hell? Oh my god, we're sisters? Oh no. Which is a pretty long password and you'll never get it. So, what we're going to do is just head all the way back left, destroy the Easter Bunnies, sorry kids, 
We're killing all the Easter bunnies there ever was, so no more chocolate Easter eggs for you next year. Sorry, sorry to break that to you. But Santa Claus is still real, so you should be good. So from the right, just keep going past crumbly, scary snail one. And, and then what we're going to do, we're going to head back up into the rocky roads. And finally, we can do some interacting with at least one of those pointless blueberries that are here. So interact with the first one that we come across here. Annie, oh, sorry, Holly. Oh, my mush. Oh, mush. Thank you very much. Right, so we, we're doing something. I don't know what the hell we're doing. But what we have done is just got ourselves yet another achievement. Flip flops or petitioner for destroying flip flop or something. Yeah. Yeah, flip-flop. Now, it's, it's it's probably a cute word for a bunny thing, but flip-flop, you type that on Google and you're going to get a whole different bunch of flip-flops appearing. So, my advice, do not put flippy-flop on your uh, phone on Google. Just don't do it. Especially if you put, like, blue flip-flop. Anyway, we're, we're getting carried away. We are going to move on. We're going back to the area where we had the sort of split path. So, instead of going up this time, uh, we're going to go to the left. Now, you see the gr bit of green bits of bubbling goo? That's acid, so we're obviously not going to want to go in there. There is a lone house that we are going to go into. We're going to do a couple of jobs here for... Uh, well, this woman snail thing is called Annie. <laughs> Annie? Is that supposed to be... Or was that supposed to be like an avocado or something? Uh, I don't know. Right, so we're going to speak to Annie anyway. She gives us a key. Uh, she got a couple of keys on her, so don't worry about that. She's going to give us the one key that we're going to need. So we're going to go left before heading all the way up. Interact with the poster on the tree to the right here. And that is for the Devil Achievement. So let's grab that one. And this is where we begin then with the whole portal stuff. So... Getting your water cannon out, your water can, sorry, you can actually tip it through the fence. So you can see, this is what the two portal sort of pieces of grass look like. So, press the B button on the one, press the B button on the other, go through the portal, ta-da, you get through the other side. Now, another thing you should see, even if it starts fading away, and you go through the portal, then it goes back sort of at full pelt again. So, so don't worry if it starts fading away, as long as you can push your item through it or get through it, um, you're right... Uh, the portals will appear fine once again. So, a couple of um, these big water portal puzzles. Water portal, just regular portal puzzles that we've got to do. So we're going to kill the bunny. We need to destroy these three stones at first. So again, obviously get your water can out. We're just going to kick it to the left-hand side. Where am, I <laughs> Where am I going? Where am I going? Right, so we're going to kick it to the left-hand side first. Then we're going to water up the baum again. And, of course, we're going to kick it up this time. Kick it up, kick it up. Yeah, you're better than the whole Man United team who can suck my man's nuts. Sorry, sorry. Tried to let football get in the way of uh, guide commentary right here. Right, so now we've got the two portals that have opened up for us. Delicious. So... Let's just wait until um, they disappear, and I will tell you exactly what to do. So, put the both portals on, and then what you need to do... <laughs> again, try and do it so it actually works. Um, again, go through it to get them sort of both at both um, at full pelt. Then what you need to do is uh, water the bomb, and then push it through the left side portal, so that it goes all the way to the stone. So, t take my time with this one for some particular reason, but yeah... Now I'm figuring out what to do, sorry. So, water them both, water the bomb, stick it through the left one, and that will destroy the block. That's a that's a good one. Now do the next portal right there. And again, well, apparently what I'm doing is... Oh, no, I'm not. Right, get the portal at the top of them, get the bomb, stick it up through the top, and that gets rid of the stones. So apologies there, the... There was, there seemed to be a little bit of confusion, um, but honestly, it, I, it's easier than I just made it look, <laughs> really. So, hopefully, I didn't just annoy you too much there with sort of dawdling around. Right, so here is the stag. Now, normally, this guy would take about eight hits to go down. So, what you'll have to do, normally, is just sort of avoid him and then hit him, you know, sort of trip out the way. But since we don't need to do that, he goes in his house. We are good to go. That's n That wasn't the boss, by the way, in case you were wondering. Interact with this mural, Doodle. 
That, that looks like a broccoli. But blueberries and stuff. Worshipping a piece of broccoli or cauliflower. Okay. Now I've seen it all. Right, so basically we can just head back down now. Um, we can head back to Annie. Uh, we're done with this area, but not with the whole forgotten forest. So, uh, interact with the bomb here to stick that one down. And I promise I won't be getting as confused with the next sort of um, bunch of portal puzzles <laughs> right there. Um, so yeah, apologies for making that. Apparently a bit harder than it needed to be for whatever reason. So, uh, use the both water portals there. And then we can go back down. We're going to go and speak to Annie again, and she's going to give us the next key. Alright, cheers for your key and dog. Now we can just move on. Again, she'll hold the key, but she's just got plenty of spear for some particular reason. So now we can start heading all the way down. So go down, 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 down. Right, another little area, and there's going to be another bunch of puzzles for us to do as well. So water the portal through the fence, and then the one to the right of us, so we can obviously head through. Delishimando, mother flipando. Uh, these fireflies do nothing, uh, but we are going to come up to another little area. Again, this one seems complicated, but it's actually really, really not too bad. So, first thing we're going to do, water the bomb, stick it to the right, break the stone. Now, the next puzzle may be complicated, but it's actually not too bad. So, just go ahead and water the portal here, and the one underneath the fence. Quickly water up the bomb. Or, you know, uh, go through it so it gives it full pelt. Then water the bomb, that'll break the stone below. Now, what we're going to do is go through the portal. <laughs> Trying to go back through it. Water the watermelon, and we can push that one through as well. Next, now we can uh, water the portal above us on the fence above. So, of course, do the one in the middle and the one above. Then we can push the watermelon into it, go through it ourselves, and job done. That's the gap. That's that gap. Well, we, uh, we can go back, though. We have to stick a bomb through it, so quickly water the bomb. Stick that to the right. Slablam! And so here we are. Coming up to a boss soon, the stag, who is surprisingly difficult, actually, if you're not playing with god mode on. Uh, but we're going to grab a turnip. <gasps> Brother! What are you doing here? You don't talk? Oh, man, you must be dead. You must be dead as hell. So, we've only got one way to go, then. That is up for now. Again, as you can see, try to avoid all the gooey glue bits, if you want. And let us face off with the stag. Oh, in fact, this is this is basically the mini-boss of the area. This is not actually the full boss. Sorry, getting a little bit ahead of myself. But that is not the full boss. We are coming up close to the full boss, though. So, go to the left and up here through the next bunker. Now we get a potted pedal pole. So now, we can basically put portals wherever the hell we want. So, it's on our back, as you can see. So, when you press the B button, that one portal will appear. Portal will appear and that is how we, you know... Get through life and everything. So now we can just head all the way back. Um, you know, sadly we can't use it to just fast travel to other places and that. Which is a bit of a damn shame. Uh, but what we can do. Uh, you don't have to kill the bunny here. What we can do is put press the B button here to put a portal down. As you can see, that's how that works. Uh, but we can use the watering cans to use the portal uh, just above us right there. And there we go. And then we can go through the portal to nip through to the other side. If you want to ever come back to this area, put this watermelon into the gap, just so that, you know, makes your life a lot easier instead of having to go all the way the long way around again. So, now we can uh, do a couple of things with this pedal portal. Right, put, we need to put one, as soon as we kill the bunny, we need to put one portal just in front of the rocks and just in front of the bomb right here. So, as, as exactly as it looks like that, then use the watering bomb to water the bomb, the watering can to water the bomb even. And that's how you get past that bit. So that is what exactly it should look like. Um, in case you were, you know, particularly wondering. And then we could just move on. Kill old Spermy Wormy. Kill Snaily Whaley. See you in my soup later on, lad. And we could just head back up and speak to Annie to grab the last key. Okay. 
Okay then, so from here we can now finally go to the left since we can jump to the other side. So again, remember to use the watering can of the portal to the left. Then quickly put out your pedal, your, your portal spawner, jump to the other side. And again, use a watermelon, tra trick a cheeky move melon in there, job done. Now we can actually go through the door on the left. This will be actually the final <laughs> big boss stag area, so yeah. So the deers get bigger and better the more steroids they use. In fact, we're going to come up to him quite quickly. This acorn is as sick as a dick. Ah, it looks pretty sick. So, again, this one is quite complicated in all fairness. Um, you have to avoid the green on the right-hand side. There are bunnies that come out of the bushes. Um, but basically, every time it stops moving, it's going to fire a large projector at you. And obviously, he's going to charge into you as well. So, obviously, it's not going to make no difference because we're just going to stab him dead. But that, again, is in case you wanted to do this bit legit. So, try to avoid his moves. When he stops, he's going to stick a projectile at you. But we don't care because we are the hardcore god mode crew. And there's nothing you can do about it. So, as usual then, make sure to get the heart, the fruit heart, before we go. There we go, or heart fruit, whatever particular, whatever, but that gives us more HP, and, well, now we can just go up into the left room, the only room that we can go in, and we're going to grab the green goop. Why there is green goop just chilling, I don't know, but, uh, hey, it's ditto. Hey, ditto! You don't want to turn into a turnip, boy. Nobody really likes turnips, do they? I don't, know, I don't like turnips, but this one's kind of cute. I still don't want to eat him, though. Right, so now, basically, what we can do now is head all the way to the right and go back to Annie to finish the Forgotten Forest. We are family. So then, with Fanny Annie done, we have the Explorer hat. We can finally stop doing stuff for her now. Stupid acorn avocado thing. But what we're going to do is, before heading on, have a look at the tree stub in the top right-hand corner here. We're going to speak to this sicky spoobag acorn. I must own real estate. I have leaf. Please get me real estate turnip. Yeah, let me just do all the things, even though I've got a bunch of problems, yeah? Yeah, you goddamn lazy goddamn douchebags. So, what we need to do then is go all the way back to Layers Lane, but what we're actually going to do is not go up here. We're going to keep going to the right until we're back into the Plains Plain area. Uh, there's one little thing that we're going to do in the Plains Plain area first before going all the way back up. So, back into the plane, into the plane, into the plane, into the plains, what we're going to do is head all the way east into this right room, which again is a new area we haven't visited, or we haven't been able to visit first, purely because we have to get to the other side. So, sprinkle the portal on the right there, use your spawn portal, and jump over to the other side. Now we have to put our spawn portals in particular places. Uh, you can't just stick the bomb down, it's not going to work. So, you need to stick one portal in front of the rock here, and then one just in front of the bomb, so quickly go ahead, water your bomb, as soon as they, the spawn portals look like this, that's going to open that up, that is going to unlock a fruit heart for us, we can water, scublam, and that is yet another one, again, uh, I do apologise, I've actually lost count on that one, but that's another one you should have anyway, it'll say in the description and timestamps below anyway, which, <laughs> which one it is, so hit the bomb, and now we can go back out, now we can go all the way back to Veggieville, and go all the way to the left to the Layers Lane. So 
then, once we are here, uh, we're going to go up past this carrot on the right into the blueberry here. And, uh, it, it, hey, it's currency now, hun. Oh, what do you think's currency? What, what do vegetables and fruit have for currency? It's got to be a leaf, right? So, and again, this is another couple of quests that we have to do with it. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. But just come with me. You speak to each other. I don't have to do this. But apparently that's not how it works in video games, of course. So, now we have to go all the way back to the Forgotten Forest. So, back through the rocky roads to the left as soon as we enter the Plains Plains. And then go all the way to the left once again to find Annie's house. And speak to that bloody blueberry on the rock. Or the acorn. Whatever. And there she blows. Can you read for me? I cannot. You own real estate. You owe property tax now. Yeah, that's the sad reality of life. Wow, I'm a homeowner, except I've got to pay out a whole bunch of other crap. So, you know, it's a positive with a negativity. But apparently, according to Kirsty Allsop, just give up coffee and Netflix in the gym for a bit, and then, uh, you know, you can afford a house. You're stupid, that moron. Right, so anyway, what we can do now is just head all the way, done, basically done with the side quests for now. We can just head all the way back to uh, Veggieville and speak to Mayor Onion Balls again. Right, so, dude wants a laser pointer now. Now, you can really see wondering why, what the hell's going on. I try, I tried stabbing him, cutting off his moustache and his hat and that, but it didn't work. So, we have to go up to Weapon Woods. We have to go past all the snails here and just nip back into the second area. And then when we get here, we're going to head straight up again where the baby carrot and his mother is. And we can speak to the IRS, the Irritating Red Sons of Bitches? Ir yeah, that's what IRS stands for, you Irritating Red Sons of Bitches, in real life as well, I assume. I don't think anybody likes the IR IRS, right? Am I right? Anyway, we, we've spoken to those, uh, those IRS guys anyway. Now we can head back down, we've got a short level to do, um, before we've got the sort of two longer ones left, so... Head to the left, past onion balls, and up here we're going to speak to Tots, who is an old potato. Man, he has been bitten, and he has now shaved for a couple of years. Plus his weird Harry Potter eye thing. Yeah, anyway. We're going to go in here. This graveyard now is kind of like a bit, bit of a maze, but it's not too difficult. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is actually grab a missable hat. Again, very easy to miss. And it's in this first area, just... By this graveyard in the top left, so use your sword on it, that's going to get us the top hat. Which is fancy, just dig up a grave and take his hat. Yes, do that in real life as well, that always goes well. Right, so from here, what we're going to do then, if we're going to head north, up. And then what we're going to do here is head to the left, which is west. Now, there is a, another missable achievement here, so go to the top left graveyard, interact with this. Hey, mom and dad, I'm dead. Rip it up, and that one is another achievement for us. Then, when we're done here, we can just head north. If you go into a wrong section or a through a wrong door, you end up back in Veggieville and just have to try it again. So, it's north, west, north, or up, left, up. So, from here, interact with this watermelon in this graveyard straight away. The sort of, um, you know, rightmost grave, whatever. Use your sword on it there. Use the portal. And now we have to get the another portal so we can push the watermelon through. Job done. Then we can go through to the other side and we can push this watermelon in. It honestly took me so long to find that pissing watermelon. I'm not proud of that one. 
<laughs> but still, I do it first time for you. Right, what you're supposed to do is speak to uh, five of these pumpkins, five or uh, six pumpkins, five tell a lie, one tells you the truth, but we're not going to bother, I'm just going to tell you the truth. The truth is we go up again. So, a couple of directions you can go, but again, if you make a m wrong move, you end up in Veggieville, have to go again. So, it's... When you go through it again, it's up, left, up, up, basically, to get to this area. Use your sword on this grave. Interact with Tots. And, god damn, big fat potato chunky monkey is done. He's happy with that. And what he does is gives us a shovel. That hits harder than the sword, and it can pry open bunkers as well, which is always nice. So, speak to Tots again. This is very important. This is another side quest we're going to do. It's one of the longer ones because, t um, basically, Tots to his pops, right? Um, his pops is all the way in the iced freezer in the frenzied farmhouse area. So, yeah, and they don't go any closer or whatever. So what we can do actually is head right here just so we can get back to Veggieville a little bit quicker. So now we have to go all the way down to Plains Plains, go into the far frenzied farmhouse and into the iced area as well where we gave Carly her lost sister and nurse Barry and all that was yeah I hope you enjoy walking because this one's a bit of a long one good couple of minutes this <laughs> takes <laughs> sorry So, back in the idolized box, finally, we're going to go to the left, and it is in this room in the bottom left-hand corner where Pops is. And genuinely, he looks in way better than, way better Nick than his son does. Yeah, I mean, he's not been bitten to death, he's just a bit old. Right, tidy. So, Pops, we give the letter to Pops from Tots. Now, what we can do, we have to go, <laughs> we have to go all the way back now to Tots in the graveyard, so let's head back all the way through the Plains Plain, through the rocky road, and go all the way back to the, gr <laughs> the Grim Graveyard. Oh god, it's just too much walking. I, I, I don't walk. I can lift weights like a mofo, but I'm telling you, walking and running, that, that gives me an absolute heart attack and a hemorrhage. So, if you remember the way, let's remember the way. First is straight up. So, again, ignore the pumpkins. They just tell you sort of where to go. So, remember, it's up. Now it's left. And then it's just up and up again. And then we can finally talk to Tots, who... How is he still alive with a bunch of bite marks on his head? That's what happens when you're a graveyard dude, right? I assume. Or graveyard dudette, of course. <laughs> So we get a bird hat then off um, Tots. Now what you think? Do you want us to get rid of that bird for you, Tots? You're just gonna, you know, we're just gonna leave him. Right. So now you think, hooray, we're done. Happy days. We've got the hat. Uh, no, 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 no. 
What we have to do is go all the way back to the Forsaken Farmhouse again, and we have to speak to Pops one more time to grab another hat off him. So, um, enjoy the walk again. <laughs> Might as well go and make a brew. <laughs> That's another cheeky, funny little joke there. What's a farmer? Well, you wouldn't want to know that, turnip boy, old Jimmy. But I suppose you will soon enough. Anyway, so we got the farmer's hat. We are now finally done with this side quest, so now we can move on. Now, of course, the thing that we need to grab the mayor, mayor onion balls, is the laser pointer. And we do that from, remember, the hatch into the bomb bunker in the weapon woods so that is where we're going so go out of here back through up all the way up, back up to veggieville for the time being And of course we are going to go back all the way up to the top right to Weapon Woods again. Man, that old lemon dude, he looks like he's gonna should we try and trip him up? Nah, 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 nah. nah it doesn't work. Um again, a little bit of uh, le legal advice here. Don't go tripping at old people with canes because uh, they won't take too kindly to that. And I mean, I suppose it depends where you're from, but usually you'll be arrested and charged with hate crimes and such, so. Don't trip up old people, especially those with canes, no matter how funny it is when people thought I'm joking. Right, anyway, open up the hatch here, and now we can head down into the bomb bunker. No, seriously, I am joking. I love old people, especially those on the road who hold us up and crash into us all the time. So, um, <laughs> interact with this poster here on the wall for another achievement. Oh, I'm sorry, old people. I do love you. So, that's going to be yet another achievement. We basically need to be coming up to another quite, quite tricky, tricky boss. Again, if you were doing this uh, legit, which we're not, so it makes no difference, but um, yeah, she would normally be quite tricky, this one. Right, so we got a couple of new bosses in this area. They're just like radioactive waste cans. My eyes, the goggles do nothing. Um, especially since we don't have goggles on. So, what you can do is interact with this fridge for the last pizza slice. Now, what you can do is this basically gives you a bit of health. Um, but every time you go into a new area, it seems to automatically have the pizza in hand. So just make sure you quickly go over to your sword. Um, as we go into the right here, make sure to grab this hair dye as well. Again, this comes in handy for the last side quest that we're going to do. So come into this bathroom, grab the side quest. But yeah, the pizza, again, if you're playing it with God Mode off, you can interact with it. <laughs> as you can see there, uh, press the B button and it gives you a bit of quarter health, that's all. Uh, so again, like I said, because we've re-entered an area, we've got these, my eyes, goggles do nothing, radioactive barrels before heading up. I mean, you could just head up if you want. You can just ignore the enemies. Now what you can do is water this and then run away immediately because it sets it on fire. Of course, God Mode does not matter. Oh, d oh damn it! Sorry, my bad, my bad. But through a lot of this, you have to water it and then immediately run away if you don't want to get set on fire. Um, but of course, like I said, it doesn't matter. We can literally set ourselves on fire and use it to open up doors and everything. But for now, we're going to head to the right. And there's another something, little something, something on the bed. Well, since we're on fire anyway, we might as well just... Um, <laughs> uh, now, what, this is what you're supposed to do, though. You're supposed to do the watermelons, then the fire, and that opens up the key. 
Uh, but if you want to set yourself on fire and break open the crates, that's more than uh, more than happy to do that. So, interact with this uh, newspaper on the bed. That's going to get us yet another achievement called News Day. Or oh, News Boy, sorry. Yeah, close enough. There was a Y in it, wasn't it? Now we can actually go up since we just unlocked the key and we got the achievement for interacting with the newspaper again. Now, interact with this. Now, if the radioactive ham hurts you, it literally switches your controls for a couple of seconds. Yeah, oh, that must hurt. Um, get interact with this radioactive barrel, kill this dude. Now what you're supposed to do is water the watermelon, push it down to the... Um, to the wooden barrel door right here. And then, obviously, you're supposed to use the fire on it and do it that way. But, of course, it's it's God Mode, baby. Oh, yeah. Me love some of that God Mode, man. Uh, for some reason, I start becoming more moronic as it is. But this is what you're supposed to do. Water it, push the watermelon down, use the fire on it, and then, yeah, job done. That's what's supposed to happen. But, since we've already done it, we can now go into the right-hand side door. And this time, we can interact with the... Uh, the letter on the bed. Make sure to do that first so we can get the achievement out of the way. Just in case you missed that one. Now what you're supposed to do is make sure that you've got a lot of health. Set yourself on fire. And then um, break open the cranes. All you got to do is press the A button to trip once. If you want to get the fire off you as quick as possible by the way. Um, but once you've done that, grab the key. Grab the hazmat suit. And remember to grab the letter that was on the bed for another achievement. If you didn't grab it already. Which you probably did. Um, this ham is going <laughs> to... Ah! I'm on fire! So is the ham. Ooh! I do like a bit of fiery ham. It's delicious. Right, don't know what the hell I'm trying to do here. We're just going straight up. Me trying to hit uh, something with a watering can. Uh, I think this is a piece of ham that um, so cold hurts me. Yeah, so until you kill it, then <laughs> the controls go back to normal. Right, again what you're supposed to do is... Do the watermelon there at the top and then use the fire on it, etc, etc. But what we're going to do is just use... Uh, we're just going to set ourselves on fire. That's what, exactly what I'm trying to do. Um, again, you don't have to do the poles if you don't want. That's just to get there a little bit quicker. Um, otherwise, you can just walk over to the other side carefree and on fire as hell. Which obviously does make turnips a lot nicer. But we need to interact with the watermelon again anyway. And we need to push it into this gap, so make sure to do that. You know, try to do it less moronically than me, which should always be handy. Then we can use the bomb to break open the stone, which is just above us there. Skablamo! Kablamo! <laughs> Excuse me again there, Marge. Right, um, we... Now, what I tried doing, I thought I could just hurt the radioactive barrel with a bomb, but apparently, they're immune to bombs, so you just need to kill them. Yep, job done. Yep, yep, yep. Right. What we're going to do here, set yourself on fire. Again, with God Mode off, just make sure that you've got enough um, health. There you go. Break that open. Dead! And now we are then coming up to Liz, the boss. It's the Queen, Queen Elizabeth the Twelfth, or whichever one we're on now. As a sort of dead ghoul looking thing. Right, so basically what will happen is she's going to hit you with a pipe when she gets too close to you. She'll have a fist that comes out of her stomach she, she'll try to uh, crush you with. She'll try and uh, grab you to constantly go close to her. And she'll also spit out toxic goop around her that if you touch it, you'll take damage. Fortunately, she does as well. She gets hurt in that toxic goop. Of course, there, again, once again, there are like fire plants and stuff you can use to hurt her, etc. But of course, it doesn't matter because we're just going to kill her dead. And life is golden. Golden turnips for us. Lovely jabbly. Right. So, make sure to grab the heart fruit before we head out. Or we head to the left even. So there's another heart fruit. So now we can go to the left and we can finally get the laser pointer. Which uh, the obviously very happy and very good Mr. Onion Mayor Balls will want. Why would you just give him that? Why? Why? So now we can actually head out. And again, we've just got a couple more things to do. Sort of one more side quest that we need to do. So, uh, we can't get out of here. Yeah, but we're going to have to go all the way down and get out of here.
So we are finally out of that bit then. Now what we're going to do is go into grab, we're going to go ahead and grab the final hat for the Fashionista Achievement. And that is all the way to the left from Veggieville in Layers Lane. Now, you should get it exactly the same time if I, as me. If you don't and you somehow end up missing a hat or whatever, just have a look at the timestamps in the comment section and the description box as well. Just as I see if I can get that old lemon guy to fall over again, but we can't. Um, just to see which one that you may be missing. You can have a look um, in the menu as well to see which one you're missing and go from there. But speak to the carrot when we get to Leia Lane. He, kind of, he just looks like a sort of angry German or something, an angry German carrot. I don't know why, but it just is. So, that gets us the final hat. That should now get us the Fashionista achievement. So, again, you should be exactly on the same bit that I am. And apparently, we've now gone bald as hell since he's just sliced our hair off. Which, nothing wrong with that. Being bald. Everyone loves a baldy. <laughs> we all know. The angry and bald are of the future, according to that one game, Neon Law. Which only takes 15 minutes to complete, by the way, in case you're looking for another easy, quick 1k. And so we've basically just been shafted by Mayor Onion Balls. He's bent us over and done us a good one. So we can interact with the letterbox. I waited a month for this update and all I got was this lousy hat. Well, we're still waiting a month for the two final achievements to unlock on Xbox. So, you know, it's funny. Uh, but of course, if you're watching after that, then you can just ignore that statement. Right, so we're going to speak to the old lemon now. Uh, you don't actually have to get that DLC cap, by the way. That's just in there if you want it. So this is going to be basically the big final area of the game before the old big boy boss fight. And this is the area where we're going to find the first of the two achievements that are currently, at the time of this recording, unobtainable. So go behind the tree and we can head down to the mis mysterious Mafia base. Um, yeah, so the two achievements, like I said, because they're at the end of the game anyway, you can literally just go back to them without having to play through the game again, which is a good thing if you're playing on Xbox. Of course, if you're playing on PC right now, then you shouldn't have this issue and you'll uh, get them both anyway. But we'll come back to that in a bit. So we're going to head up for a sec and we're going to grab this book here on the right hand side. Basic English for big dum-dums. I genuinely say a lot of um, English speaking people need that more than, you know, <coughs> quote unquote foreigners who speak English. Because their English is fantastic and then you've got a lot of English speaking who can barely speak it. Let alone bloody spell it. So after we do that, what we need to do now is do a bit of portling. So make sure to grab that book and that achievement there from the top room. Now we can put a portal just in front of the left-hand side door. Quickly run all the way back over. Use another one. Get your watering can out. Put yourself on fire. And then you can go ahead and smash open the door. Again, you don't need to do that. I'm pretty sure you might just be able to get away with setting yourself on fire and just walking all the way over. That should be pretty much fine too. But there's two ways if you want to do it. So we've got a split path again. We're going to head down first. Because we're going to be getting another missable achievement. Head down again. So press the A button here to just interact with the ladder. And head down. Now what we're going to do is go into the left room. To find where this missable achievement is. Another document. And it is this book on the table. The Layers to the Onion. From Shrek the First. Um, I didn't realise Shrek was writing books these days. But anyway that gets us the Tyrant achievement. Now, this is where the first of the two unobtainable, current unobtainable achievements are. We're going to head down the ladder. What's supposed to happen is, as we go down, there is going to be a nuke. What you're supposed to do is hit that three times, and the achievement should immediately unlock. So, this is the nuke. So, whack that with your shovel a couple of times. Now, on your screen, sort of post-patch, the achievement should unlock. You basically destroy Veggieville, achievement unlocks, job done. Now, because the achievement is currently bugged at the minute, I can't tell if uh, when, when it gets destroyed, you can just press continue and you, and you go back into the same area. So apologies about this bit, 
where I'm not sure exactly what happens afterwards, or if we just start back in the same room. But anyway... When you hit that one, we can just move on anyway. So, wherever we end up, again, apologies about that. I'm not sure exactly what happens. We need to go back into this room anyway. And we've got another little bit of a puzzle to do. So, first things first here. We need to get rid of these two stones. So, uh, use the water, water and can on the watermelon. Push it over to the right. And then what we can do, use the bomb. Water can the bomb. Blow that up. That gets rid of the uh, watermelon and the stones. Now we can go and just pretty much go ahead and set ourselves on fire. What you can do again is do a bit of portaling. Um, if you want to, if that sort of makes it easier for you. Um, I kind of just show you the, the portal ways. Sort of it, more of a, like, you know, just in case you kind of want to do it the, the sort of proper way or whatever. But that's this is what we can do. Um, set yourself on fire. Go through the portal. Whoop, we'll try that one again. And set the door on fire. But I'm pretty sure you'll just be able to, again, set yourself on fire. Go all the way to the <laughs> left anyway. But, you know... Yeah, just thought I'd show you anyway, because I'm nice like that. Right then, we've got another missable achievement coming up. So, we need to uh, get, the, get the watermelon up anyway. But what we have to do is use the... Get the two portals on either side of the tables right there. And go through it. Don't know what I was doing standing about there, being a lazy butt bag once again. Go into the left-hand side door. It's the only one we can go in for the time being. And on the desk, right in front of us, wow, that's a scary bunch of looking paste faces. Interact with the letter here, rip this up for another achievement. The Turpacino. Achievementimo. Turpin, Turnipcino. What did I just say? Yeah, whatever. Whatever, whatever, whatever. Anyway, what we need to do now is get the watermelon, of course, that is below us, um, into the gap. So, interact with the portal there to get yourself um, through. Through and down. We need to use the... In fact, no, we need to use the bomb, sorry. So we need to put the portal where I exactly put it in order to break the stones. So I think that's why I've done it in that particular area. So now we've got a nice bit of area to go through. We can now push the watermelon on the left, push it through the portals, and that should be good to go. Now you can just smash it through there, and up we go. So, now there we are coming up to L bosses, the old corrupted onion balls. And, well, he's obviously going to be the sort of most difficult one um, of the game when we head up here. Uh, so, just a couple of little tricks if you want to. Um, basically, he'll have three attacks. He's going to charge at you, hit you with his fork. Um, you can just dodge him with the A button there. He's going to spit out toxic goop, to, similar to the Liz fight, but he won't take damage from it. And he charges up his laser pointer right and shoots a large laser beam at you, which is always nice. So, there's no tricks to this one. You just got to keep avoiding him. Um, oh, he also sends radishes after you as well. Uh, so, just keep dodging him. Keep avoiding him. That's a pretty powerful laser beam. Um, and then just keep hitting him with your shovel. But, of course, God Mode, which is going to smash it out straight away. Which does unlock us the Turnip Boy achievement for defeating the Corrupt Onions first phase. Yes, first phase. We do have a second phase that we need to get through. And he's a bit more powerful than just a moustache right there. But also, a quick note, very interesting one. Uh, my good friend, uh, Sonic Fanboy, who was that dude? Um, now, he did mention that... You've probably just seen it there, but the Corrupted Onion said, Get nuked, kiddo, which of course is the achievement uh, description. So, we are thinking... So I think he Potentially, you can get that achievement that way. The, the, the glitched unattainable one that we hit for hitting the nuke a couple of times. Yes, so because Corrupted Onion said get nuked, kiddo, apparently that can work as well. So it can kind of be unmissable in that sense then. Um, but again, if not, don't worry. Apparently there's the, the, the two ways to go about it. So, God Onion, which I never thought I'd ever hear myself saying. Oh, I tell you what, the Christians are going to be fuming at that. So, what we have to do is basically release a couple of IRS people whilst avoiding these god boss moves. So, he's got, again, three moves. He's going to come with you. One, he throws forks at you here, about five forks. Uh, but we just need to go to the right here and speak to the IRS dude. The irresistible, no, the irritable, sorry. Irritable red sons bitch. Okay, something really cash money. Yeah, you're telling me, mate. 
Right, so what we have to do when you stop talking, get your water can out, use it on the bomb, and then just kick it to the dude. And he's going to literally volley that like a legend. He's going to David Beckham that, James Ward Prowse that, even now, these days. Straight into the top corner, so that hurts the boss a bit. So as you can see, there was his three moves. Um, one laser beam, one sort of three goo balls or whatever. Uh, but you need to set yourself on fire um, and just... We, basically, all we have to keep doing for the time being is keep setting ourselves on fire and just going all the way back until we get to the middle. So, job done then, when we're going over here. By the way, if you're not hearing anything, this basically is an epic bit of music here. Um, but I am pretty paranoid about copyright, because you know what they're like. Yeah, they'll try and take any money off, um, you know, small YouTubers by copyrighting every bloody thing. So, interact with the bomb, use it on the stone, and again, set yourself on fire. And open up this one. You know, you can tr obviously try and avoid the things if you want to, but, you know, god mode is legendary in these parts of town. So we interact with the watermelon there. We're going to obviously pop that one, pop that one through the gap, and then we can interact with the bomb and stick that to the left. Will you? Uh, it's not a goo ball; it's a fireball. But still, screw you and your fireballs, you big onion, bollock-headed nude bag. Right, speak to Raphael. It's a hell of a name for a bodybuilding carrot. Um, so we need to give him Bloom Bloom. It sounds like um, he just wants his mother's bitty. And there he goes, stick the bomb over to him, he's going to hit him. Now we can just go all the way back over to the middle and speak to the original IRS guy. The original irritable red sons of beach. And this bit's pretty easy, all we got to do is just speak to him as a fireball's about to erupt our DLC hat. Uh, and then all, to do, all we have to do now is just go skablam with the bomb, skablam, give it to him. Dude, what the heck, this carrot is legendary, and that is the end of that. So, I mean, it's, it's a fairly, it looks like, I didn't, I didn't bother doing it legit, but it does kind of look like a sort of easy uh, boss fight. You know, a bit, bit of dodging, a bit of avoiding. Um, obviously, it may take a couple of times, but, uh, well, anyway, rip up this boy, and what you're going to get is we're going to start getting a couple of achievements thrown our way, like a like a fat kid loves cake. So we get Anarchist. You should get that for destroying every single tax document in the game. So as long as you've done all the side quests, um, followed exactly what I've done, you should get that Anarchist achievement right there and the Homeowner achievement as well. So this is the end of the game, but we've got a couple more achievements left to get regardless. Uh, the credits take a couple of minutes. I, I genuinely just love these uh, little bit of end credits here. They're very, very wholesome. And... Fair play, fair play. It's such a lovely message. You, you love to see it. You love to read it. You love to see it. Just like you love to see the Mercedes Formula 1 team crashing and burning this year. <laughs> Sorry. Just get my Formula 1 nerd stuff on you there. Right, anyway. Since this is the end, we can now just go to sleep. Or we can go ahead and grab a couple of achievements, which we couldn't get before. So, a couple of things actually open up for us now. The Limitless Line Train, where we get the final remaining achievements, including the other unobtainable question mark, question mark, question mark. Uh, but what we're going to do is grab our final um, fruit heart. So, we can... Oh, what's been going on here? Rocky Ramp. So, what we're going to do first, we're going to get our final fruit heart, and that is just for going down... Have some water, blueberry head, and you, strawberry. You look warm, shriveled. I don't know something else that's warm and shriveled. It's my soul, my heart. So as you can see now, the where the orange dog was in the way before, he is no longer. So now we can actually go in here through Rocky Road, and again, nothing else to do except water the fruit heart, grab this final achievement, and that is good. You're going to hear the beautiful, rare, ah, the beautiful diamond. Achievement unlock right there. So that is tank. Now we can just go ahead and get the couple of achievements that we can get on the limitless line. So just head back to Veggieville and your greenhouse for a sec. So there we go. 
we go then, the Limitless Line ticket. Now, what the Limitless Line is, is basically a kind of rogue-like minigame where we just have to go from, uh, we just have to keep going right, destroying enemies, killing enemies in certain, in the carriage, and then moving on, and then moving on until we get to the final boss. But I'll tell you exactly how we um, can go and beat the question mark, question mark, question mark. So in Layers Lane, just before heading up, go to the right to Sunset Station here. And what we're going to do first, we're going to get the achievement for basically dying. So go to options, go to game, and just turn god mode off. You can keep player strength on if you want, that makes no difference, but we're just going to die. So go past any of the avocado thing right here, or the, whatever the hell it's supposed to be. It is an avocado, isn't it? I'm not being stupid, or sweet potato or whatever. Um, interact with the onion conductor, or the conductor onion. And this is basically where it begins. So... You can literally just come back and try this as many times as you want. Um, you can just keep going until you die. It is a limit, limitless line. So you can just keep going forever if you're really that good enough. But this is what it is. And I'm not going to show you exactly um, what it is. But basically, well, obviously, like I said, I'm going to show you the deaths first. So obviously, every time that you kill an enemy, you'll get a couple of hearts and everything. Um, but these enemies not kill me near quick enough. Uh, but this is it then. So obviously, the more through the carriages we go, the tougher the enemies have become. You'll face all the bosses that you faced as well. So that's the pig, the the stag, the a sheep with projectiles apparently, um, and what whatever other bosses you faced before. And basically, you'll go through this whole thing. And the end of the first run is when you fight the. Um, I won't spoil it for you just yet. We're just going to die first. There we go. So we faint first. But the end of the first run of the train is when you fate, uh, face and beat the... Uh, ah, screw it. I'll just spoil it for you, won't it? It's the Conductor Onion. So he's going to be the final boss. And he's quite tricky as well, to be honest. So when we die, we can come back um, here. We can obviously try as many times as we want. But just go back to the options. God mode on. And now what we're going to do, so from now I'm not going to show the whole thing because it does take about 5 or 6 minutes. you just got to keep going through the carriages, just make sure you got your player strength at 3, your god mode on. Keep going through until you face the Conductor Onion. And that'll be the, the second achievement of the Limitless line bit. The question mark, question mark, question mark, you'll basically be getting last anyway. But just smash through all this for now. Um, it does take about 8, 9, or 10 rooms, roughly about, until we are able to face off with the Conductor Onion. Da -da -da -da. And here we go! Well, Bucko, the Conductor Onion, who is apparently a samurai swordsmith legend. Uh, so what he's going to do is throw shur sh shuriukens at you. Shuriukens. Um, he's going to teleport as well and try and slice you that way. So, kind of a tricky boss fight, to be honest. But as soon as we kill this dude, we are going to get an achievement for beating him. So, to get question mark, question mark, question mark to appear, what you need to do is now go back into game. I don't know if there's any other way to... I don't know if you could just save and quit and start off again. So, basically, I just turned God Mode off. Uh, completely died at this point. But a couple of things about this question mark, question mark, question mark. Apparently, he only has a 5% chance of appearing. Uh, now, for me, personally, he appeared... After we faint here, so obviously this is after the first time we've just beaten the Conductor Onion. He won't appear the first time on the train. You have to beat the Conductor Onion first, kill yourself, and then we can put Godmo back on, go back on. So now apparently he has around a 5% chance of appearing. Like I said, for me personally, he appeared the first time a couple of rooms after the Conductor Onion. Um, but again, I obviously just got lucky with that one. Well, thank you, Molly McSpicy. Yeah, thank you so much. Um... But yeah, it, it may be a case of if he hasn't appeared by like the sort of, you know, 
at least the sort of fifth or sixth room after you beat the conductor onion, or at least, you know, at most the tenth room. Um, kill yourself and just go back on it and just keep trying, but he will appear eventually. So, I've just gone through all the rooms. Gonna beat Conductor Onion again. And I know a couple of people who've been lucky enough to have it first time. Um, but again, I'm not sure if he will only come after beating the Conductor Onion. So just keep that one in mind. I'm pretty, mu pretty sure he doesn't come before. <laughs> he never come before, that makes him mad. But I'm pretty sure he, did, he didn't actually um, appear. Let's just say that before the conductor onion. So I just went through a couple of rooms here. Um, I think it was only like, again, the fourth or fifth, but and then he appeared. So yeah. <laughs> So this is, I believe, the sixth room after the Conductor Onion, so what, what I said earlier, you might as well just keep going until you get to about 15 to 20 rooms, something like that. Um, this is the sixth or seventh room. This is question mark, question mark, question mark, basically the Dark Turnip. I mean, that's pretty damn creepy, especially with the creepy like music and stuff in the background as well. Like, anyway, um, he, you know, he's easy to kill anyway and stuff, but normally again, after you would beat him, this is where the question mark, question mark achievement should unlock. Again, at this particular time on Xbox, it won't unlock. On PC, it will unlock. Um, but that's, you know, that is, you know, we'll just wait for a patch. And then, luckily for us, we can just go back to the mysterious Mafia base, interact with the nuke to get that one done. And we can just come back on this limitless train again. Keep going until we find the three question marks, and that should be it. But for now, as you can see, before the patch comes out, we've basically completed the whole game. We've just got those two small achievements that we can that we can now get um, without, it, luckily, having to replay the game. But there we go then, guys and gals. So thank you so, so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the game. I hope you enjoyed the guide and that it helped as well. If you did, of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share with a friend as well. A big shout out to everyone who continues to support the channel on Patreon and for those that interact with the daily. Thank you so, so much for, for watching again, guys and gals. I'll see you in the next Game Pass game. Big love.